Welcome again to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. This is Brian Anderson. Joining me, analyst Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill and reporter Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Thank you, Brian. Well, the Cavaliers are a team that's getting attention for all the right. Yeah, fans in high places for sure, Allie. Thanks. So here's the Clippers starting group. The two-way threats of George and Leonard are the wing pair. Morris and Zubats play together in the front court, and it's Westbrook in at the point. And for Cleveland, the lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Darius Garland is out there with Donovan Mitchell, and it's Okoro in at small forward. And this matchup, a little bit of a rarity now, Grant. Neither team in a hurry to get in transition. Yeah, B.A., these teams have almost a throwback style to how they play. They don't want to get up and down and play fast. They want to go slow. And that takes players who have patience and discipline. Tonight will be a tactical battle. So the Clippers win the tip. George outside. Westbrook outside. Pass to George. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And man, it has been so impressive watching Evan Mobley, my pick for the rookie of the year, make such a quick impact in the league. You gotta be excited about his future. The three from Mitchell. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. Sixteen feet out. Second chance shot. And Zubac with the lay-in. Hey, take it right to the defense. Not a bad way to start this game. Pass to Okoro. Back to Garland. And here's Allen. Over Westbrook. Allen can't get it to go. That is not a bad decision to pull from there. It was just a little bit off with the execution. Leonard with the ball. Now guarded by Mobley. Shot by Leonard. No good. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. Garland against Subox. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Been a scorer since entering into the league. Garland drawing lots of Cleveland. attention. Darius Garland at the line for your Cavaliers with two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Garland. The continued evolution of Garland has been fun to watch. Every aspect of his game continues to grow and get stronger and more confident. And the Clippers going with a whole new group out there. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Out to the right wing. Here's Highland. Off the mark there with a three. Here's Osman. Now covers. And it's the Clippers on the break. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Please first. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the point. The line for the Clippers. Norman Powell. Two shots. That one falls for Powell. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Powell nails them both. So at the end of one quarter of 
play. Still a close game. The Clippers on top, up by two. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. Let's give it up for your Cavs powerhouse win. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. And for the Cavaliers, RJ, they found a little bit of rhythm, finally, after the LeBron era. They sure have. A little three-year skid. It looked like they were lost, but they kept some veterans around and brought in some great young talent. Maybe not title contenders, but they can make a big splash. So here are the five for the Clippers to start the second. Nicholas Batum out there with Norman Powell. Then it's Terrence Mann. Then it's Mason Plumley, And it's Highland in at the one. When you combine his length and leaping ability, Allen is a ridiculous lob threat. Here's Mann. He's checked by Levert. Pass to Powell. Six to shoot. And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Here's Wade. Now here's Rubio. Launches a three. Gets the three ball to go. Rubio's got himself on the board with a three there. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Powell outside. Pass to Highland. Here's Mann. He's checked by Levert. Here's Powell from outside the arc. The rebound by Allen. 32 seconds left in the second. Here's Osman. Powell covers. Here's Levert. Fires from 14. That one doesn't drop. Ooh, I rushed that one a little bit. Pretty clean look inside. Pass to man. Oh, swiped away. Here's Osman. Here's Levert. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Cavaliers ahead. They lead by three. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. They created some momentum for themselves in the second and went into halftime up by three. Kenny, what's your take on Cleveland so far? They were simply the better team on the offensive end. Every time the defense made an adjustment, they would make an adjustment on offense. Winning that little cat and mouse game, they'll be difficult to beat. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? Terrible execution deal offensive end. Rushing things, taking bad shots. Here's a thought. Pound the ball inside. Our percentage looks. Just out to the line. Get back on track. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. And now, please welcome to the court. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And the three-point shot, so important, Richard. That's something you added after you came into the league. What was that process like? Well, look, as the game tilted that direction, it, it was no secret. You have to put in that time. But what I try and tell people is that it took me three years before I was able to even become a consistent three-point shooter and another five before I became a good one. So as long as you're putting in the work, you're going to see the results. 
Those who evolve are those who stay around. Okoro at the three with Mobley at the four. Mitchell out there with Darius Garland. And it's Allen in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's J.B. Bickerstaff's five as we get going in the second half. And for Paul George, playing close to home on a title contending team, it's a tremendous opportunity, Grant. And back with the Pacers, he twice made the Eastern Conference Finals. But without a doubt, this is the most talented team he's ever been a part of. And they get it back. And Mobley gets it to go. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. George passes to Zubats. Back to Leonard. Pass to George. Fires from deep. Sinks the tray. George has gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Over his career, George has put up great numbers from deep. The ultimate 3 and D player. Westbrook against Garland. Mobley outside. Shot clock at six. The three from Mitchell. It's another three for Cleveland. And that three-pointer is big. Cancels out the triple at the other end and helps stretch out their lead. Back to Westbrook. Now here's Leonard. Not a lot of room. George outside. The Cavaliers pull it in. Okoro on the wing. Over Leonard. Misses. And we've watched three so far in this one. The Cavaliers on top. They're up by five. And time to step away quickly. But we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. They've got Robert Covington, Russell Westbrook out there with Eric Gordon. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Plumlee in at the five spot. In the paint, Westbrook's agility makes him a tough cover. He just slips past the D and gets his shot. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. <laughs> Making moves with the game in the balance. That's how you take matters into your own hands. Here's Wade. Outside, green. And Mitchell launches it from deep. Plumley pulls down the board. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. Shot by Leonard, no good. I thought he had that ball sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him out. Pass to Wade. Now here's Mitchell. Banked it in off the glass. Mitchell! And the Cavaliers lead by five. If you're the D, don't let Mitchell beat you inside. Gotta push him out further. Leonard against Green. Now here's Leonard. He's covered closely. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. They'll pin that foul on Danny Green. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Cleveland. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He gets the first, and that shrinks the margin to just four. As calm as they come, Kawhi Leonard. A great guy to have at the stripe in these moments. Allen, he's checked in for Cleveland. Okoro comes in for Green. Morris, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Paul George comes in for Gordon. And Leonard drops them both. And in a close game like this, they can really rely on him to take care of business at the line. 
Mitchell up top. George defending. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Oh, Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to go on Paul George, a leader on this team. These guys trust Mitchell to come up huge at the line. on the first and that gives him a four point cushion and the Clippers making a change here Zubox is checked in hits both free throws here and it's a five-point game gets them to fall and those are huge free throws it's now a two possession game time called here los angeles decides to talk it over okay, they're down by five 43 seconds left in the final quarter Take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Donovan Mitchell. I mean, come on. His offensive focus was just second to none in this game. He really found his rhythm early and didn't give the defense a chance at all. All right, let's get a report from Allie. During that last break, Coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team. He was really urging them to stay after it, saying, quote, we're right there, guys. Keep playing for one another, and let's take this game. Bringing the inspiration. Back to you. As always, Allie, we thank you. At the line for your Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell taking two shots. Drops the first one, and that increases the lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Taking full advantage of his opportunities at the line to extend their lead. Now here's Leonard. Defense right on it. Over a Coro. And again, it's the Clippers missing. And so it's Cleveland with it. Seven-point game. Biggest lead so far. Garland with the ball. And so it's Cleveland winning this one. I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory. But a win's a win. And so true, but you have to credit the 